this one, this one. Okay, that was infected. Um, This one. This one. All right. Keep in mind, it is a Thursday. So there's not a whole lot of people in here, but those are the people you do see. Charlotte is the one in the top right. You have seen her before. Yeah. That's who we bought the picture from. Correct. And that's why she can be out drinking, because somebody gave her money. What's the date today, by the way? It is Thursday. I don't know the exact date. Um, 24th, actually. I do know the exact date. Oh, I guess I could, probably could have just looked at the... The lecture that you guys were supposed to go to just finished. Uh, 25th is the Thursday. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. I just checked my calendar. Well, I guess it's the... I'm pretty sure it is the 25th, then. It's the 25th. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. The date isn't super important. I was just curious for my notes. No, no, I, I get it, but I'm just... For, for my own... I'm trying to make myself yeah. feel better for forgetting. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, yeah, I had Jan or January 24th today meeting with Edmonds, and that was like the other day. So the woman in the center on the bottom, is that Aria? Oh, I forgot to put Aria in there. One sec. Oh, okay. No, Aria is a redhead. I understand the violin picture is scary, but deal with it. There's Arya. Okay. Have we seen this guy before? Which guy? Bottom left. Goggles. No. Oh yeah. Oh, no. I thought that was the guy with the, with the. Uh... That's goggles Malone. <laughs> no, I thought maybe that was the, the guy lesser with the known weird of... tools. Lesser known post. Okay. So Arya is Finn's mom. Correct. Okay. Why is she not home with her child? She That's has a baby. She has a husband. Wow. Judge oh, Mel. I just assumed she was a single mom. So did I. I was gonna go get me some of that. Nice. Okay. That was the only judging, though. It was like, I figured she was looking after this kid all by herself. No. You're like, get home and look after that kid. He's probably running around wild in the... <laughs> in, in the, the forest. Park. In the forest in the park. At 9.30 at night. Seems like something he would do. You know what I just realized? Uh -oh. um, no, it's nothing bad. Uh... <laughs> Oh. Frankie's last name is Whitlock. Aria and Finn's last name is Whitman. Aww. So close. They are all related. Uh, just as you guys oh, are kind of like... very witty. Uh, awful. What? Uh, <laughs> she said... We're all just really witty. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I was going to say that uh, Frankie shows up to the bar. Oh, hey, Frankie. Glad huh. you could join us. That sounded sus, but all right. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm just 
It's like anytime we're meeting some new people, it's always, it's, yeah. <laughs> this is an awful place for an intervention. Suddenly a banner drops from the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, if it was an intervention, uh, Frank, you'd be for all of us. Yeah, exactly. What are you drinking? Uh, I feel like whiskey. I, my, I feel like Frankie would drink whiskey. I got my gin and tonic, as per the use. Uh, what's our server's name? Uh, it's just the one guy who works here um which is uh last name turner i forget his first name now um walter walter yeah big chubby friendly dude yep. the guy you called norm when i sent the picture the first time Right, right. Uh, Walter, can we get a whiskey for Frankie, please? Oh, yeah, of course. No problem. I'll be right over. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, why the no? What's up? Well, we're just trying to see if we can get some more info from people around town. It's like... It seems to be, uh, we'd like to get some more information. This seems to be the local haunt, so we just figured if we all were here for a drink, maybe somebody would approach us, or we might see somebody that we wanted to talk to in a more, uh, social setting, a little more chill. Like, even, even the way Emily approached us tonight, it's like, I know she was kind of just checking us out, but people are talking about us, obviously, so it's like, maybe we can, you know see if people are a little more open to yeah we almost been here a week now you just never know also um since he's with she's with wyatt then maybe wyatt's getting some information too that'd be good yeah but i'm just thinking because that's what she said that evelyn was talking about us all the time so it's like maybe they're t talking about us at the diner maybe they're talking about us you know at the they're bar here just not to our faces yeah, Guaranteed. but, you know, maybe if we can fly some people with a bit of alcohol, we could get them to make talk ourselves to available. You never know what we'll find him. And Vino Veritas. Okay. So, we've met Aria before. I don't know. Oh, and there's Charlie, too. Oh, or Charlotte. Excellent. What's up? Okay. Well, she said Vicky's here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Vicky and that's Charlie. No. Is that right? I don't know. This is this is Charlie. Charlotte or Charlie. Yeah. And that's Victoria in the middle. Victoria in the middle. Okay. I do you know who that guy in over there in the corner is with the, the girl the in the middle is not Victoria. Oh. Who is it? Well, have we met this one? No. Okay. Never mind. It looks similar. Don't get me wrong, but it is not her. Does he have names on all these people? I have names. That would have been a nice thing, but he did not do that. On uh, the pictures you sent us, that's what I'm asking. I mean, I that they are sent named, but I don't know if Discord. That's Cassandra. Aria. No, there, there yeah. is no Cassandra. Yeah. No, no, I'm he's going back, going back to the pictures. Oh. Evelyn. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that girl looks a lot like Evelyn. Aria? It isn't, though. No. The girl in the middle. Underneath the guy with the dog. Okay. Uh, except she doesn't have red picture? hair. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we had it small. Um, 
Yeah, I have all their names, but you have to talk to them if you want to talk to them. Yeah. Frank, have you seen any of these guys before? I've never seen goggles before. Uh, no. Frankie. Oh, Frankie has? Top left. Um, when you were staking out... Oh, you, the albatross you, place? You did see top left, dude. Ooh. You don't know his name, obviously, but you have an idea that he is a member of the albatross family. Fine. Um, how far is away every... is us in the bar? Like, is he in yeah, shop like... talking like normal? Uh, volume? no, but okay. Keeping in mind that there's a dude playing music in the bar, um, you're not gonna he, he's not gonna hear you talking about it. And is anybody sitting together? Like, are any of these there, people sitting? There's together, some or random or they... people in the bar, but these ones are the ones that are like separate. Like, none of them are together. Um, Ari is okay. reading a book. Uh, Charlotte's reading a book. The other ones are just drinking. Okay. <laughs> we can just see a hand. There's an arm in the. It's a ghost! This is, this is random arm floating in there. That's not odd at all. So how do we want to do this? It's like there's different ones that hey, we Hey, I asked love. that question. Yeah. No, I was asking Frankie. Just, I, I know, just it's chill, just a joke. Have a drink or two. Yeah. Just see if anybody notices us and comes over. And then if not, we'll go from there. Uh, Well, too bad Shaggy isn't here. He could talk to Goggles for us. Who is Shaggy? Oh, sorry. Uh, Oliver. Um, Oliver is no longer a part of this campaign, so we'll just forget he he's existed. Left. He's left. He, well, he messaged just earlier say he went tonight. On a, a uh, what, what, him, what he told yeah. me, what he told me to say is that he got arrested and deported. So <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Who knows? You never know. He may end up showing up somewhere down the line, knowing knowing Oliver. Yeah, I can still reference him like we yeah, did soon. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Um cuz he's still a crazy person. Yeah. Mm. Um Well, I'm trying to think of a good stupid nickname for that one. Hold on. The one is just kind of like in the face. So I Sorry, like this song. One. It's a little, little, little taverny more than pubby. Uh huh. This doesn't have enough. Everybody knows your name. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is currently stuck in my head. I like this one too. No, you know what? I'm gonna go with what my first thought was, and I don't care how accurate it is because it's the name that first came to mind when I looked at his face. I don't know his name, but I recognize Mr. Abercrombie and Fitch over there. <laughs> yes, that's quite the distinctive uh, beard he's got going on there. The sexy uh, beard. Think... So, how do you recognize him, Frankie? Did I ever tell them what I was doing? I don't think so. I don't know about that one. Okay. Um. So that one night I didn't go do anything with y'all. I kind of was staking out the albatross house. Oh, all right. Interesting. Did you see anything? 
but obviously I saw that. him. Yeah. So he you would have seen like the it. different family members and stuff. Yeah. So like I could point out like family members and stuff, but it looks like they were all secluded. I'm surprised he's out. But maybe playing dumb might be a benefit if I want to chat. Yeah. So I will just let you maybe know we're just... some of the th what you would have seen this guy doing is going over a lot of paperwork. Um, he would like he sat down, opened up a briefcase started taking out like pa like packets of paper and just reading through stuff and that's what you saw him doing most of the night uh so he's either their lawyer or he is just really busy yeah so you might not want to disturb that guy well uh, are, there, are there any orphanages in town just out of curiosity why are you gonna light one on fire no i'm just curious <laughs> Uh, there's no orphanages in town. Is there supposed to be? <laughs> it's a town of 500 people. Why would there be an orphanage here? Who knows? Uh, can I tell? Does he have a drink? Yes. It is a tell, scotch like, on the rocks. Okay. And he's just... Does he have his briefcase with him? No. Yes. No, he he's saying that Frankie, when Frankie was staking out the place, would have seen him doing, like, just doing paperwork. Oh, I thought so he had paperwork they, in the bar. No, not were, in the bar. While, no, 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 while they were, while they were spying on the house, okay. they saw. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, that was like, my bad. My yeah. I was wondering, because you're like, I, just leave I him alone. I'm like, recon. Correct. So Straight true my last comment. It was not. It was directed at. I thought he was busy at the table. Yeah. As no, you no, guys no. are talking, uh, this guy walks in and sits down beside the other guy in a suit. What is that? His twin? Yeah. Is it? Is they're not twins. It's just another guy that looks similar. They look not twins. Okay. That guy. Yeah. Let's see the other guy. That guy. Or not the same guy. Brothers? Close brothers? brothers? Maybe. This guy's okay. skinnier. Here's the better question. Uh, Which one's Abercrombie? Which one's Fitch? <laughs> additionally, you uh -oh. would have seen this guy also in, in your stakeout. He was there too. Was he doing paperwork as well? I will also state uh, when Walter sees him come in he doesn't even talk to him. He just immediately pours a drink for him and the guy nods at him and takes the drink. Well, obviously a regular. Yeah. Hey Walter, how long yeah. do you have here to just know what someone's going to order? Uh, I'd say about a week. Wow. That's You're a good, good memory. I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. I don't think I've uh, when he seen. comes back, he sets down all your drinks, by the way. Okay, so we still don't know who that woman is, right? Nope. You don't know who the guy with the dog is, you don't know who the guy playing guitar is, you don't know the woman, and you don't know goggles. Also, well, he would not have not gonna go up he would not have the goggles on right now, just to be clear. That's just the picture I have. Can you make I'm that picture big, please? You're still gonna call him goggles. <laughs> I feel like a guy like that would okay. totally just like have them still what, on like his head. What you'll He's what you'll see, what you'll oh, see is the tan around, around tan around his eyes, the tan lines. So you would have yeah. still called them goggles. I still would have called him goggles. 
Exactly. You only get those fan lines one way. Goggles. So, so you want it? Do you want that one, Frankie? <laughs> yeah, why not? He might not be a total nut house. What is goggles? What is goggles drinking? Just beer. Of course. Yeah, beer goggles. <laughs> Awful. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, well done. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go over while Frankie's Frankie's going over to talk to uh, Goggles. There, I'm hey, gonna. Well, can I get a beer, also, please. Wow, someone's thirsty tonight. Sure. I'm just trying to make new friends, and I never show up empty-handed. Generally a good I'm idea. I'm going to go over to, to Arya and see see what she's up to. Because I think I talked to her last time because I talked to her about Finn, right? Yep. Yeah. I'll hold the table. I'll grab mine, and I will take a beer over to Buggles. Uh, when you go over to Arya, you can see she's reading a book. Uh, the right. book is called A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh. You dirty, dirty girl. I, I think somebody gets it. <laughs> yeah. I know what she's it's doing like, in her free time. It's like, Sorry. It's just me time. It's just me time. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm giving you right now. We're gonna do Frankie's thing. Okay, they can go first. <laughs> all right. Reading it in public for shame. Not everybody knows what the book is. No, I know. Uh, anyway, so you walk over to uh Ezekiel. I just said his name. Oh. Um, you walk over to him. Um and he has a napkin spread out on the table and he's got this old worn out pen and he's kind of like drawing on the napkin and you see um it's kind of he's making blueprints on this cocktail napkin and the beer is pretty much full and you see the condensation dripping down the side because he immediately got distracted and he's been doing this the entire time. Beer for your thoughts? What? What? Uh, um, oh, um, I already have one. Sorry, did I did, throw off the... Did Walter hire somebody new? No, I'm just new in town and trying to meet people. I oh. saw you had a Beer, so I figured beer. Well, now I have two. And you only paid for one. I haven't paid for anything yet, but sure. Well, you'll only pay for one. That, that I, I bought that one. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, I'm it goes back Frankie. To... Oh, by the way, he, Zeke. And he starts drawing again. Can I tell what it is at all? Or does it just look like... Um... Roll me a sharp. There's no... There's nothing I can really give you. Okay. Let me double check my thing. Hold on. I don't remember if I'm just... No. Oh, okay. Okay, sharp not bad. Okay. I have a one. Eight. Uh. So you can't. I don't think you would get a whole lot of information. Um, but it looks like a combination of a birdhouse and a satellite dish mixed together. Okay. 
because the eight is a mixed success so i'm not going to give you everything but that's right. the, the those are the main components of what goes to get it there's like wiring and things going into it as well and like it looks like it's attached to something sturdy um but yeah that's that's all you get birdhouse and a satellite dish okay yeah um did you need something sorry I and he kind of like leans over his napkin drawing to hide it sorry i uh noticed the birdhouse and was i got distracted he flips it was... over you didn't notice anything i have absolutely no idea what it was oh that... it's gonna be amazing it's the next big thing everybody's gonna want one well, when it is for sale, I look forward to it, I guess. Really? Do you want to get in on the ground floor? Do you want to invest? How much are we talking? Uh, and I'll like, I'll like try and slide into like the seat across from him. I don't know. Um, 10K? Can you give me an idea of what, without details, what it... I don't want to know like everything, but I kind of want to know what I'm getting into. Hmm. He flips it over. Uh, in the top corner, you can see a name written called the Wilderness Whisperer. And he's like, this is the Wilderness Whisperer. Um, it's going to serve as a communication hub for people living in remote wilderness areas. Sounds like that'd be pretty good out here. Yeah, it's going to have um, forest Wi-Fi, which it's going to have uh, advanced technology that harnesses signals that bounce off of local wildlife, such as birds, squirrels, insects, um, converting their different unique chirps, uh, tweets, and clicks into data packets. And then those are going to be decoded into usable information, and it'll provide updates on weather patterns, uh, nearby animal activity, and potential hazard hazards. It's not actual Wi-Fi, you know, you can't go on the internet with it, but it provides information about what's going on in the surrounding area. Like a database yeah but like you would know what the weather's gonna be like because if it's gonna be raining all the deer are gonna try and find some shelter if it's gonna be a major thunderstorm all the birds are gonna clear out of the area and you're not gonna hear any chirps or anything um, if it's gonna be a blizzard obviously everything's gonna try and dig underground so all of these things would feed information into this satellite and it provide whatever is connected to this satellite attached to this birdhouse the birdhouse is just for additional information because obviously birds are going to hide in there if it's raining or thundering or whatever right um and then that'll provide information on top of that i'm trying to get it to decipher and mimic animal sounds so that you can have very minimal but still legible conversations with different forest animals. Okay. How do we figure out their language and not insult their mother? It's all data. It has to collect, 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 and eventually we're going to know. Because what if a deer huffs a certain way and that means water's this way? It's going to keep on doing that every time, right? Enough data explains everything. Um, it's also going to double as an emergency beacon. So you just push a button and it's going to emit a very loud sound that you nearby hikers and park rangers can hear. Um, and then it's also going to have some forest radio um, so that people can listen to uh, tranquil sounds of rustling leaves, babbling brooks and chirping crickets. And finally, best of all, it's going to be solar paneled. Gonna, it's going to be powered okay. by the sun. Right. I, I figured solar, sun. I, I think I put that one together. 
Brilliant. 10K. Well, I don't just carry 10K on oh. me. Do you think I should but pitch I it to get... the Albatross brothers? And he points over to the people sitting at the bar. Is that who they are? I'm, I haven't been here very long, sorry. I... Yeah, they're the Albatross brothers. They live in that big mansion just as you're coming into town. Oh, so they're like loaded. Yeah, they're uh, the one there. And he points to the younger one of the two, which I assume you can tell which one's younger by the pictures. I'm going to assume no mustache. Or like no sure. like jo Well they both have a mustache though. Yeah, the one that's not as gray. The second one though. Standing guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well they're both standing, but the full body guy. Oh, sorry. Um, full body. Yeah, he's the younger one. He um he's the CEO of Albatross Industries, which is that huge factory about um I don't know, I'd say about four four kilometers out of town. How does the younger brother end up as CEO? Isn't that normally the older? Well, the older brother is the lawyer of the company. Oh, he yeah. actually went and got a law degree. Um, so he does other stuff as well, but he's the lawyer of the company. I, I, I don't know how it all happened, but he wasn't CEO until a little while ago. Um, not sure if you heard. But there was an incident, um, and now he's he's the CEO. I think my driver who picked us up outside of town mentioned something about. Oh, that. you know Bob? Yeah, Bob. Oh, he's great. He's a great guy. He uh, he takes me to uh, Fort Simpson once in a while, and I get to go to the bakery. Um, do you know oh, Olivia? Is the bakery good. I didn't have a chance to stop. Do you know Olivia? Do I know Olivia? You know her, but you don't know her. You don't know the name. But you've talked to her. Is that the hippie chick that ran the... Nope. Uh, Victor knows who Olivia is. Anyway, doesn't matter. Olivia's sister is actually the one who runs the bakery in uh, in Fort Simpson. Um, Sweet Haven Confections. Well, with a name like that, it's got to be good, right? Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, I go there uh, occasionally when Bob brings tourists and different people into town. I get him give me a ride out there. Um, and then he'll take another batch and I'll ride with them. Pretty good system. Yeah. If you want me to get you any apple fritters, let me know. Have you had beaver tails? I have not. They have those there, too. That sounds good. They're, they are. Next time you go, can you grab me one? And I'll... Yeah, that'll be 10k. <laughs> Alright, I'll make sure to get you that before you go next time. That was good. Um, I gotta get back to this or else it's not gonna get done and your 10k will be worthless then. True. Very true. Okay. Thanks. All right, and he starts drawing again, writing down equations and stuff on the side. I'm gonna go hang out with, um... Victor? Victor for a second, yeah. Uh, Maxine, you're talking to Arya. As yeah. she sees you walk up, she immediately lowers the book down to the table and puts her hands on top of it. Huh. Hi, Arya. Hi. How can I help you? I was just wondering if you wanted anything to drink. Uh, nope. I have my wine. Thank you very much. So, how's it been? Oh, sorry. Am I hearing myself? I think I'm hearing myself. You were. Okay. Right. You're hearing yourself through Frankie occasionally. Oh, okay. So, how are you doing, Aria? It's, it's coming through really uh, aggressively. Uh, I'm doing okay. Oh, we lean back. No, it's... it's Frankie's mic is picking up her speakers. Their speakers. Her microphone's just too... It's just too good. 
Her microphone, well, their microphone is way better than any of ours. I'm sure, actually, maybe not Cody's, but better than the people who got cheap microphones. My microphone <laughs> was only like $50. But it was like a Blue Yeti, wasn't it, or something? True. Yeah, that's, the, that's a good brand. Oh. It just started doing that the last few times we played them. I don't know... That's fine. Why? Yeah. I'm doing anyway. okay. Can I help you? So how's, how's Finn doing? We haven't seen him today. Oh, he's doing great. Um, He was uh, playing at the park with... Uh, oh, what were their names? Um, He was playing with Amelia um, and uh, Rory. Um. That family's so big, I don't know how they don't lose some of their children. What family is that? Uh, the Jenkins? You might not have met oh, them yet. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, he's uh, a very interesting kid. It's like every time we turn around, somebody's mentioning him. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. He seems to get around a lot. I mean, we're a small town community. We all watch out for each other's children. Yeah, that's what's great about it. It's like everybody seems to know each other pretty well. It's like, I don't know whether I've seen those guys before. The ones in the suits over there? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't. They're uh, keeping a low profile right now. Who are they? Um, The albatrosses? Oh. Okay. I've heard the name. Yeah, no, they're they're pretty well known. They run a big company outside of town. Oh yeah, what's their what's their company? Albatross Industries. Oh, okay. What's what's their can you tell me their names? Is that okay or I'm not trying to be I just I'm wanting to meet different people here. Um well, the younger one is Eduardo, and the older one is Mateo. Oh, okay. Eduardo and Mateo. So did they get out much, or...? Uh, they they used to, but ever since the incident, it's not really something they were recommended to do. I assume Mateo had something to do with that. Okay. And who's the who's that guy that Frankie's talking to right now? I've never seen him around either. He looks like an interesting character. You won't see him very often unless he gets some money. Um, but he uh, that's that's Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Well, what's he do? He's an inventor. Um, he comes up with a bunch of cockamamie schemes and ideas and inventions, and some of them work, some of them don't, but, um, he, he always has an idea that's going to be the next big thing. Yeah, I've met people like him before. They're, I don't know, it's like, it's always interesting, really, to talk to them. It's like, he looks like he, uh, he would be quite entertaining. Well, he lives in a beat up old, um, like tow behind trailer in the woods. Um, and if you ever start getting close to the area, you'll definitely know it because there's usually the smell of like burning iron and metal as he's usually coming up with something. Some, yeah, he's throwing a bunch of scrap metal into a fire, melting it down and building something new. So. Yeah. Does uh does Finn does Finn like him or it's like I know kids sometimes are drawn to any anybody doing like welding or soldering or doing anything like that. Finn's more interested in his monster stories than he is other people. Yeah. Yeah. So has he come up with anything cool, Ezekiel? Like anything that's worked that you know of? 
Nothing that I'm aware of. He claims that he came up with something back in the uh, 70s, but oh, yeah. I don't know what that was. Huh, interesting. And also, he was pretty young back in the 70s, so it might have been, like, as a kid. I don't know. I just realized what year it was, and Oops. it's probably better that I say 80s. Yes. It's like so old. He'd be so old then. Well, to come up with something, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Oh, you never know. Because, like, in the 70s, he would have been born. Correct. Oh, yeah, sure. Who's the who's the guy playing guitar? I don't think I've seen him before either. He's pretty good. Oh, that's Benjamin. He uh, he plays here once in a while. Yeah, I don't think he was here the other night when we were here. Uh, yeah. Matt. He uh, it's not super common, but he does show up. Do you get lots of bands here, or like anybody? No, it's just pretty playing? much just Benjamin. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a far way to come for uh, playing, but I don't know. There might be more people that like to play in town here. I'm not sure. No, nobody and I else. I see Charlie over there. Who's the other woman sitting by herself there? Um, Maria. What is? I don't think I've seen her around town. Um, no, she usually sticks to herself. She doesn't get a whole lot of time out and about because she's usually taking after her kids, um, with her husband working all the time. You know. Does she does she work here in town, or you said she's just at home with the kids? Um. Sorry. Yeah, no, she's she's just at the kids. Um, she does sub sometimes, um, but for the most part, she just stays at home with the kids. Like a teacher? Yeah, she used to be a teacher before before the kids. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, looking after kids, that's a uh, that's a full time job sometimes too. Yeah, I'd say but. so. So is that some, uh, do her, is that who Finn plays with sometimes or are her kids older than him? Uh, Emma occasionally, uh, Liam's too old. But again, Finn prefers monsters to people. True. He did, he did seem to hit it off with Wyatt though. It was like, who? Wyatt seemed to with Wyatt didn't oh you didn't meet Wyatt I have no idea who Wyatt is oh he's one he's one that's uh with us he's a young a young guy that's with us but uh yeah I think he met him in the park oh okay yeah yeah that's and they 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 got along well but yeah that was kind of who introduced us to Finn so but uh yeah no they seem to they seemed well. They were talking about monsters, so of course they probably would have gone along well. And oh, there's one more guy. Who's that other guy over there? Oh, I was like, there's another guy. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> yes, without a dog. He does not have his dog have, with him. Seems to have a lot of dog hair on him. Oh, that's Caleb. Might be a security animal. Yeah. That's Caleb. I don't think I is and he's from in town here too? Um he lives by the lake, but that's technically in town, yes. Okay. What's he do? Nothing anymore. Oh, interesting. Is he like seasonal or what? No, he just made a good living and he's retired now. Wow. What did he do before? That'd be nice. He was a he fisherman. Retired. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know there was that much money in that. But if you fish in the right places, there is. I guess. Also, all you need to do to get re uh, into retirement is make enough money to pay off everything you need, and you're done. Yeah, I guess if you live a simple life and... I mean, you he's know, a retired fisherman. He goes out and fishes, and that's it. Interesting. Well, thanks so much for talking to me. It was like, yeah, I'll let you get back to your book now. Oh, Sorry for interrupting you. you. It's okay. Have a good night. You too.